Problem 18. How many positive factors does 23,232 have? So this question is just the direct usage and testing your ability to understand this concept. The number of factors that any number has, right, will be equal to, if you were to, well, you first have to prime factorize, right? Let's say this number prime factorize gives prime 1 to the n power times prime 2 to the n power times prime 3 to the a power times dot 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 all the way to prime number n times to the b power then the number of factors for this number will be equal to n plus 1 times n plus 1 times a plus 1 times all the way until b plus 1. That's the formula. Um, I won't go into rigorous proof here, but if you want to check out AOPS Volume 1, The, basic, the Basics, um, I highly recommend that. In that book, it will teach you why this is the case and how to use it. But in this case, direct usage of this idea will give us our answer. Prime factorization is basically where we, you know, write this in terms of primes. So let's start that. That's 2 times 1, 1, 5. So 1, 1, 5. Uh, here, let, let, let's just divide it out because we want to be organized. That's the pitfall here. We, if we don't say organized, we're going to mess up. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 6. See, that's why you have to keep organized. So 1, 1, 6, 1, 6. Right? That's equal to 2 times 2 times 1, 1, 6, 1, 6 divided by 2, 5, 10, 16, 8, 0, 8, 5, 8, 0, 8, 5, 8, 0, 8. Let's just scroll down. Well, 5, 8, 0, 8 is divisible by 4 because the last 4 digits. So 5, 8, 0, 8 divided by 4, 1, 4, 18. Uh, we could put a 4 here, so 16, 20, and 5, 2. So that's equal to 2 squared times 2 squared times 1, 4, 5, 2. Now, 52, right, is divisible by 4, so let's divide by 4 again. That's divided by 4 is 3, 12, 25, 6, 3. So that's equal to 2 to the 4th times 2 squared times 3, 6, 3. Now, that's divisible by 3, so 2 to the 6 times 3 times 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1 is the square of 21. So 2 to the 6 times 3 times 11 squared. So with this, right, we have prime factor ratio, 6, 1, 2. So direct application of the theorem tells us it's 6 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 plus 1. That's our answer. So that's 7, that's 2, that's 3. That's 6 times 7 is 42. So our answer should be answer choice E.